everyone, this is Lulu and today we will be painting this Galentine stemless wine glass. Here's our supply list, feel free to pause this section and take notes as we will begin shortly. Use a pencil to sketch the front square that will have the writing. Using masking tape, create two lines that meet in an X pattern on each side of the square. Use three more pieces around the back side of the wine glass and here I have used a marker just to show where I put my pieces of tape. With skinny masking tape, add smaller lines near the large taped pieces. Avoid the front square for now. Feel free to add any other smaller lines in the back. With a medium wine brush, paint around the wine glass using one coat brush strokes of peach fuzz, hinto mint, peachy keen, and double mint. Do random brush strokes with one color and fill in the uncovered spaces, as you wish. If you wish to add other colors as well, feel free, this is the perfect time to do that. So I like to start with my lighter colors first, and here I started with peach fuzz per first, then I used hinto mint, and now I am using peachy keen, and lastly, I will be using Double Mint as the darkest color. Give the glass a few minutes to dry, then gently remove all the tape pieces. Be careful with any wet spots. I highly suggest just work on the drier spots first, but little by little take the smallest tape pieces and then start with the bigger ones once your piece or that section is fairly dry. With this skinny masking tape, set three lines inside each of the larger masking tape spaces. Mask off the center square and the rim. Here I am working on the front part of my wine glass and I'm just setting first a square and then giving it a few lines as a border afterwards. Here's a quick turnaround of my wine glass after I've put all the pieces of tape around. Using a medium round brush, paint the front part of the wine glass using one to two coats of peachy keen and peach fuzz. Blend them in the middle a little. To blend them, just kind of mix the colors a little as you brush. With a long liner brush, paint the inside of the striped skinny lines with old yellow. Gently remove the tape. Again, begin with the driest spots first. With a fan brush, paint the inside of the wine glass using two to three coats of Hinto Mint. Use a toothbrush to splatter the inside with Double Mint. Here's a quick close up to the inside of the mug so you can see the splatter. Using Q-tips and Old Yeller, uh, dot the rim of the cup. Be careful just to not make it too heavy so it drips. And once done, we will be working on the writing. So use your pencil to sketch the writing in the center of the square and follow it along using the Black Lab Fun Writer. 
A tip for the fun rider, remember to squeeze lightly so your paint comes out a little thinner and easier to spread. Uh, you remember the more you squeeze, the thicker it becomes, the less you squeeze, the thinner. Um, once you're done with your writing, you will use the fun rider to outline the center square and to just give accents to some of the lines around the mug. Feel free to add as many lines as you like. I like to keep it simple, so I just added a few here and there just to give an accent to where I had all that yellow. Hope you have a marvelous Galentine's Day and thanks for painting. Thanks for watching.